Uh, hello everybody, and welcome back to some Ragnar Mod 6. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. So, last episode, we got together, and we got our Tinker stuff set up. Matter of fact, I need to get rid of this right quick. Um, since last episode, uh, I've done some stuff. Not much. Well, it's going to seem like a lot, but it's not really a lot. Um, so, Friday night, as I normally do, I like to sit and have a few beers and just mess around with stuff. Uh, and I got, don't say I got bored, but I decided I wanted to just go out and see what the ocean had to offer me. Not this ocean. I did go out and around here. There is a dragon layer here, and there is a dragon layer like here-ish. Uh, but I went out, I done some more looking around. Uh, there is a village here. There is a village here. There is a village here, but there is also a dragon here. Um, but that's not what I want to talk about. Uh, we're going to talk about this area here I decided to go do some jellyfishing and what started out as just a couple of beers and a couple of fish while I had nothing to do wound up turning into a four hour foray and we got jellyfish we've got all the jellyfish uh, now I'll tell you Netherite jellyfish, emerald jellyfish, diamond jellyfish, uh, and the quartz jellyfish, I think it was, took the longest to ever get them. But we've got them all. That's not what we're doing today. We're going to save this. I've still got to figure out exactly how it is we've got to farm these things. As far as I know, it's just going to be putting them in water and a way of sucking up their goodies. Um... So, as far as today, what are we going to do? Well, first off, we need to go back inside because we've got to complete some quests. Uh, we've got a lot of quests to complete. Um, I've got quests for all of the jellyfish. We've got a uh, quest for getting dimensional shards. Uh, and after that, basically the jellyfish quest, uh, each one is just going to give us a little bit of stuff from it. So, we're just going to hit the claim all and be done. We got an enchanted book. What did I get the enchanted book from? Uh, let's do all this. That should took care. It didn't take care of none of it. Um, need a empty chest. This will work. All of this. Wait, do not have quartz over there. I guess not. Quartz is in our nether stuff. Um, that stuff can go in there. I will just put all this stuff in here for now. This goes in with the books. This goes in with the mob drops. That goes in with the mob drops. And I have netherite step right there. And did anything fall in here? Yes. Emerald, iron, gold, all that good stuff. That all can go in here. And now we're cleaned up, ready to go. There was an enchanted book. What was it? Plundering. Dropped extra loot when catching jellyfish. Well, that would have been good to have. We'll put this in here with the jellyfish stuff. Well, no, let's put it with our books. Uh, also, I got this stuff here. Um, I just wanted to hold on to this because we just got the... Uh, The, uh, advancements for it. Uh, when I went to start recording, there was a plague doctor up here, and he was getting on my nerves. Anyways, now, with all that stuff done with, let's get into today's stuff. I want to get towards us getting into getting plates so we can get machinery. Uh, and for, for us to get plates, we have got to make um, one of the little deals. Uh, let's see here. Immersive. It, 
doesn't show it. Um, plates. This guy here, we've got to do the pressing. So that is where we need to go. Uh, and we can't ponder this stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's not that much to do, but we've got a few quests along the way to do, so we might as well do it. So first things first is we need some andesite casings, which is a bunch of wood, which may lead us to our first issue. Oh no, I have wood. And we've got andesite casing in one of these here chests, this guy right here. And... Uh, let's go ahead and make two sets. We're probably going to need it. All right, so that's probably going to nope, that give us andesite. All right, so next up, we've got to make our way to the mechanical press, which is this guy right here, but we need to get cog wheels and stuff. So we need this guy here. I need some of those. Really? We get... I don't know why I thought it was anything less or more than that. So there's cogwheel. Let's get a big cogwheel going. And we need uh, a shaft or two. Quest complete. Beautiful. That's going to give us more shafts. That unlocks our mechanical press. And we actually should have everything we need now other than a block of iron, which we can get. Beautiful. There's that. This guy here. Beautiful. And now we can hold the ponder. So we need mechanical press. And we need a depot. Alright, so is that our next quest? That gives us a cake base. Uh, there is no other quest after this. So we need a depot. This guy here, there's that. That was not a quest for anything. And we're also going to need uh, a water wheel or we might make two of these. Um, I need... That should get us what we need. Um, and that takes care of all of that. Now I just need to place this stuff down. And we should be able to start making plates. Alright, so I didn't do a very good job of looking at some of this stuff. But uh, we could actually put this on a belt and everything and automate this. But we're going to just try to work our way through uh, this and get to um, other ways of making plates. So that should go on there. That should make a plate. And that should give us a plate. We have ways of making plates now. Beautiful. Now, my next question is, can we use this as a cast? We can. See, look. Already. Not even going to need to do all this. Or at least that. Now, we'll get into the immersive engineering part of this eventually. I think all we need is one. It might be two. Uh, but we can use this. We can make plates this way. Um, so let's get this going. That just done that. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, nope, that was enough. All right, and this guy here... We can use uh, one ingot makes one plate. Beautiful. We don't have to worry about all of that anymore. Uh, we can sidestep create for the time being. Now, we do have to get into it uh, a lot more. Uh, I don't know how far into it we need, 
Um, but in order for us to get draconium ingots, where are they? Ah, right here. Um, we actually have to do automated, not automated packing, um, shape crafting, ah, sequence assembly. We need draconium dust, we need creative essence, and we need a nanorite crystal. So we're a long way from being able to get into draconic evolution. But now that we've got that part of create done, we should be able to go into here. Uh, we've got this quest that's now done, and we should be able to start getting into immersive engineering. Uh, immersive engineering, it says you need to make your first metal press to get or be able to get going. Like I said, we just done that, so that's taken care of. So, first things first, engineer's hammer. One and a two. Uh, that has... That's not much XP at all. Um, I need a piece of string, and I need a stick or two. So that guy, that guy, that guy, boom. We've got our engineer's hammer. That quest is done. That just gives us a bunch of XP. Not even really a bunch of XP, just some XP. So now we can get into uh, our coke oven. Uh, we can get into our first bits of power. Um, we need to get treated wood before we can do that. So let's work on our coke bricks, which is just sandstone brick and clay and i should have let's get these guys um cooking and sand we can use this sand i've got plenty of it that should be enough for that we'll put this stuff away and wait for everything to finish wait Wait, 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 wait. We've got that sandstone, too. It's good to know. All right, so we got everything we should need now. Let's get this guy made. Uh, we need a coke oven bricks. And there we go. That's what we need. We'll hold on to those for a minute, or that for a minute, and let's go get to this guy put out here and going. Um, we'll tuck her in right here. I forget I've got the uh, haste on here. There we go. Do that. Let's whack that, and boom, we've got that set up. All right, coke oven done. We've got coal from that. We'll take that coal, and we'll throw it in there, and we will let that run. That will get us what we need for the next bit of all of this. So, um, our first bit of power. While we are at it, we need to make a kinetic dynamo, which we need to get into wires, and it looks like... Um, we can roll them, we can make a metal press. Metal press we can't do just yet because we haven't got that. So we need a rolling mill. And then this guy. Rotational force, we know that. So that's really all we need. Alright, it's a bit more stuff than what I had intended as far as create goes, but that's alright. So let's get this guy made. Rolling mill. Uh, we need two iron plates. Let's see which one of these is going to be faster for us to do. Probably going to actually be the other way, but for now, let's just go ahead. We already did this. All right, that actually didn't take very long. There we go. There is our rolling mill. Let us 
throw a gear here. Don't really think it's going to be that big of an issue running both of these here. And now we just need to get us a bit of copper and see if we can't get some copper wiring. that didn't work all right so wires and rods force roll metal into rods to manually input the items drop ingots from plates on top of the meal there it goes and we got rods that didn't do us a bit of good so do we need, wait, 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 before I do all of these, there we go, all right, that's what we need, so let's go ahead and do all of those. And it only done one at a time. All right. All right, so we've got 18 wires. So that takes care of that kinetic dynamo I need we can do all of that I need to get some stickets all right so this guy here this guy that guy let's go ahead and make them all we'll just get iron and redstone There's that guy, and there's our kinetic dynamo. Beautiful. Two quests complete. That's going to give us some more wire. And that was this right here for the actual wire and stuff like that. So, our next goal. We've got two ways we can go. We can do a windmill or the water mill. But before we can do that, we need to get a bunch of creosote. And right now, all we've got is a hole, uh, a, a bucket's worth. Oh, no, we've got two buckets worth. Uh, so we might be able to do what we need, but I need to clear out some inventory space. All right, so the next thing that is on our list before we get to uh, making our water mills, which I completely forgot while I'm trying to get the treated wood here, is we actually need... Um, steel so we need to make our blast furnace so that is next on our list now in order to do this we need magma blocks and with that i've got that covered we got these magmatic stones while we were digging around uh in the nether i need nether brick so let's do that let's do that and I just need to let these guys smelt up, and then we'll have what we need for after that. All we need after that is just brick, and we've still got brick left here. All right, so we got what we needed. I actually had to go back and move this out because I didn't plan this very well. And I had to move this out one because this guy, I need to light that up. Uh, it was out too far. So we've got that. I need to put that back in there. This guy's ready to go. All we've got to do is put a coke coke in there. We can get us a bit of iron. And we can start collecting uh, steel not going to be very much but it'll at least get us going all right and while we're on the topic of making all of this stuff um 
I don't know what I did with that sandstone. It's right here. We might as well go ahead and make the kiln. One, two, three, four. Get that made. That will get us into our first foray of mixing metals. There we go. There's that. And boom, there's that. It can stay in here. It's something that we're going to be using. It's not going to be something that's just sitting. But we do have our first two pieces of steel. And I still need to get our water wheels made. So one thing I have learned in this pack, planting saplings um, will turn into dead bushes if they don't grow quick enough. All right, so I've got our water wheel taken care of. We've got a few quests need to complete. It just gives us XP. That's going to give us a bunch of ladders. That's going to give us some charcoal. No big deal. So we've got a couple other things we need to make right quick. We need to make these wire connectors. We also need to make uh, relays. We don't need the relays right now, but we will uh, eventually. Uh, and then we are also going to need to make a um, capacitor. And we will probably need that one. Nope. MV capacitor. We've probably got the stuff to probably do that. Um... May have the stuff to do that one. I don't know yet. We'll find out So but first things first is I need some more clay Let's just go ahead. I got all of that Going to need quite a bit Let's get that going All right, so I got everything together. We've got all of the different uh, capacitors. Uh, I've got all of our LV stuff made. Our next bit of business is going to be to get our water mills set up so we can start generating some power. So I need to get us some kind of blocks in order for us to be able to do this. Why not just use deep slate? That's what we've got a bunch of. I'm going to throw that in there for now. And I need to find a place to build this. And I'm thinking we just clear us out a spot right here. Or maybe even over here so we don't have to really hear it. And then we can wire all this down here. So I'm going to clear us a spot out. Get all this done. And we'll go from there. So, I will be back. Alright, and just like that, boom. We are gaining power. Uh, it's not going to be great power. This thing outputs about 80 RF. 80 uh, RF, I don't know. remember exactly what it is. Um, but, I can let this thing run. Fill these guys up and we can do what it is that we need to do. Which will be to get us a little bit of power uh, until we can get into some better power. The whole name of the game. Uh, we can still do windmills. Um, that's probably next on our list anyways. We need to complete that. And that's it. Yeah, windmills are next. Um, those need, of course, treated wood. We've got to get more treated wood for that. So... Um, which those guys aren't necessarily too bad. But like I said, it does get us into power. So we can move on about our business. So uh, that was all the quests that we have complete. Yep, it is. Uh, and so that's where we're going to leave it. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.